first meeting between these two schools the last day of January by four points. Left wing, three-pointer, Mike Hards, and he drained it by Evan Wadi. Moley has it on the fast break, dribbling behind his back, pulls up, 19-foot straightaway jumper over J.R. Owens is good. Broadcasters get a little too amped up before a big game, too. 32 straight weeks, Frank Fertorl, stopping, popping, right wing three, Malcolm Hamilton, and he drains it. Hurry in the 30-point win in Abilene on Wednesday night. Bounce pass, Moley, down low, Damian Crimmins with a commanding right-handed dunk. Brought to you by the Agave at City Limits. David Chablovic over at West Texas. It's just had a lights out season. Left wing, Damian Clement. Right wing, no sir. Evan Wani wide open for a three. Took it, no good. Tip in for Carter on the mark. Davin A. Carter off his left hand. Tip team they lost to earlier in the year. Well, first of all, uh, pulling up left wing. Three pointer Malcolm Hamilton and he drains it. Seconds. High on the key. One second. Mo Lee. Three pointer as the clock expires and he drains it. Point guard Mike Cards. I pick set Carter. They'll set up the alley oop dunk and Carter slams it home for the second time tonight. It twice, picked it up, bet it at the right wing. Evan Wadi drives to the hoop, right handed finger roll layup. Evan Wadi me. The left wing Mohammed Ali dribbling behind his back, nowhere to go. Spin move around three defenders and he laid it in. Top of the key catches the pass from Lee. His shot blocked by Everett Pleasant, who didn't know he blocked it. Hamilton picks it up, the putback is good. Rebound, Mo Lee, fast break for Tarleton. Lee versus Carnegie, layup is good. Hamilton driving in the lane, takes Your it to the hoop. Pass NPR down low, EJ Reed laid it in for this two. Is the shot is good for EJ. On the men and women's side, Mo Lee, no look pass in the far corner. Hamilton pulls up for a three and he hits it. Hamilton dribbling, guarded by Everett Pleasant. Pulls up with a baseline jumper, no good. Driving to the offensive glass and slamming it home is the point guard, Mike Hart. Yeah, special on Channel 8 about him tonight. It's a fantastic story. Pulling up, left wing. Mo Lee, three-pointer is good. Up Hamilton, he'll go to the hoop. Right-handed, I have no good. Jakob Dunkster puts it back in. The Dutchman from, Dun from Dublin. The Tarleton Texans win the 2014-2015 Lone Star Conference regular season championship, winning their 13th consecutive game. The final score, Tarleton State 68, Texas A&M Commerce 48. It's the worst loss of the year for Commerce. They lost by 16 points in Angelo State. They lose by 20 here at Wisdom Gym. Time now for our Tech Star Ford Lincoln postgame interview. I want to welcome in our player of the game, tying a career high. It is Mo Lee, the senior out of the Bronx, New York. 26 points tonight, Mo. You had 26 points at Wisdom a week ago. You really feeling it right now? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my teammates, they're just finding me open in, uh, shots, and I'm just knocking down. They have confidence in me, so I'm just taking open shots, and my teammates are believing in me, so I'm just shooting the ball. Talk about how comfortable you are, Mo, when you have the ball in your hands, getting in the paint and trying to draw contact and getting to the line. Uh, that's 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 a part of my game, going to the uh, free throw line to get easy ones, uh, or to create other uh, opportunities for my teammates, so that's what I try to do. I believe it was Chucky Guy's birthday yesterday, and, and, <laughs> and one thing Chuck did, I know you all play different positions, but mm -hmm. Chuck did a lot of what you're doing last year. You get in the paint, you kind of live off Chuck, and you're kind of doing that. Uh, do you kind of take a page out of his playbook? Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, the defense, uh, they just have eyes on me, so I just got to make the right play. Is it either it's for me or for others, like my teammates, and they're knocking down shots too. So so your, your fellow teammate, a guy that transferred in with you, who really just did a great job here at Durham State, Tayshawn Mabry, gets dismissed from the team. You find that out early in the week. Are you surprised with how this team reacted? Because a lot of folks thought that, hey, might be kind of a downhill slide, lo losing your number two score. Talk about how the teams reacted to that. Uh, yeah, that's a big piece for us uh, that we don't have right. Uh, that we just lost. But uh, other guys are stepping up. We we have a versatile team. We have uh, multiple guys that can uh, step up anytime tonight. So it's it's good that other people are stepping up in place of Tayshawn. Yeah, and it's never good to lose a guy like Tayshawn Mabry. But if there's any team that's equipped for it, maybe Thurlton State with the system you run, the kind of defense you, mm -hmm. you feel, do you feel like you can still make a long run in the postseason? Uh, most definitely. Uh, our defense is the main key. As long as we are playing defense and we are communicating on defense and getting all the each other involved in the offense, then we, we could go far. Do you realize you held a team that averages 81 points a game to 48 points tonight? That's, uh -huh. that's pretty. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, I'm going to do a little bragging <laughs> for you. I mean, holding commerce. Talk about what y'all did on LaDon Carnegie. He's the fourth leading scorer in the conference. He fouls out and he doesn't even get a point. Mm -hmm. And you remember that game last year at commerce, he had 36 points. Mm -hmm. Were y'all really focused on him? Uh, Yes, and uh, no, sir, he just he did a remarkable job on playing defense on Carnegie today. So I'll give it a uh, shout-out to no, sir, man.
Talking to our player of the game, Mo Lee. Just a couple more questions, Mo. How bad did y'all want to win this thing outright and not share it with Angelo State? Uh, this is what we worked for, so I would say we wanted it bad. Tell fans the reaction on the bus the other night coming back from McMurray when you found out that Angelo State lost it at Commerce. Talk uh, about that reaction. I was, I was amazing, man. It was, it was a good feeling. Uh, like I said, uh, we just worked hard all year long. This was part of our goals, and uh, we were working hard to achieve it, and that's what we did. Mo, how long will you celebrate this, and when will you start focusing on Eastern New Mexico, your opponent in the first round? Uh, probably, you probably get it out of the system tonight. We got to focus tomorrow, get back at it on Tuesday. Mo, congratulations. Uh, outright Lone Star Conference Championship. Y'all win a school record 26 regular season games. What a year, and it's not done yet, is it? No, not at all. Congratulations, Mo. Appreciate it, Casey. That is our player of the game, Mo Lee, our Tech Star Ford Lincoln post-game interview. Back in 30 seconds with the head coach of the Texans, Lon Reisman, on the Charlton Sports Network, presented by the North Texas Ford Dealers. The North Texas Ford Dealers are proud to support the Tarleton Sports Network and Tarleton State University Athletics. The North Texas Ford Dealers represent over 50 dealerships, their employees and families in 31 counties in and around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. For more information regarding the North Texas Ford Dealers and their products, please visit TexasFord.com or Facebook.com slash North Texas Ford Dealers. The North Texas Ford Dealers. Built Ford Tough. We're ready, Jerry. Welcome back to the Dr. Robert Barbary Post Game Show. Tarleton State wins the 2014-2015 Lone Star Conference Championship with a 68-48 win over Texas A&M Commerce. Time now for our Tech Star Ford Lincoln Post Game Interview. We welcome in the 27th year head coach of the Texans, Lon Reisman. Coach, your 450th win as a member of NCAA, and it was a big one. Congratulations on the championship. Well, thank you, Casey. It was it's a it's a grind, and I'm so uh, you know I'm just so thankful for the kids that have hung in there this year through some adversity and and they've just uh you know they've just come together and worked hard and practice and you know it's it, listen to the scout reports that we're putting out and it's 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 you know i've won some championships here we let's use the word we we've won some championships here greatest you know with coaches and and players and it, this is so rewarding this year casey because there's so many good teams in this league. There's, th it's unbelievable the talent level of this league this year. It's, it was, it's just so many outstanding players and coaches in this league, and and for us to uh, to win this championship, you know, I think we won it in 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now, it's so hard. It's so hard every year to do this, and uh, I can't say enough about the crowd here tonight. The crowd here tonight was just Huge. unbelievable. The Huge. crowd here tonight really was a big factor in how we came out with the energy and how we played tonight. I can't I can't thank the crowd enough and the people that were in Wisdom Gym tonight and the people that are listening on the radio. It's it's not our victory. It's a Tarleton State victory. It's a Stephenville victory. It's an alumni victory. It's a booster victory. We're all in this together from the media to, to, to everyone that, that's a part of our, of, of our basketball family. And uh, very, very, very rewarding night. And... Uh, very pleased. Coach, you won the South Division Championship twice, the North Championship twice. You won the thing outright in 04. Two out of the last three years, you shared the conference championship with Midwestern. You win this one outright, you go 26-2. and two. Could this be the most rewarding, just considering everything that you lost and you really had to tamper down expectations coming into the year? Well, I don't think there's any doubt. It's very rewarding when you went through the adversity that we went and the decision-making that we had to make, Casey, to – to keep our program on top. And I just think that's a tribute to the players and young players stepping up and to our assistant coaches that are putting in 14 and 15 hour days. You've been up here and we're up here at 10 o'clock at nighttime and maybe get to bed, I don't know when. And it's uh, it's just so rewarding to, to all the w effort and work that we put in was, is when, it, when it culminates into something this special. Um, I'll tell you, people ask me about the conference tournament and they ask me about the, the, the this this championship the, the, this is a grind this is a two this month grind this one's more important oh frankly. to me i mean I, we want to go win every time but when you talk about playing everybody home and away home and away and you have to go into their house and win and you're on the road seven hours up and seven hours back and and you're into that grind in all of january and february and it's tough every night and and you win the championship outright yeah it's a it's a great feeling 
He's talking with the 18th winningest coach in Division II men's basketball history, Lon Reisman, our Tech Star Ford Lincoln post-game interview. And frankly, Coach, you've had the 23rd toughest schedule in the nation. If I'd have told you before the year, if, you, if you're listening, Coach Reisman comes into the office before the season starts when they're practicing and tells me, Casey, we're not going to win a game this year. That's kind of your mantra earlier in the year. If I would have looked you in the eye and said, Coach, you're going to finish 20, <coughs> 26-2, and two, you might have sent me to the psych ward. I mean, that well, wouldn't have been believable. I wouldn't want you to call any of our games this year, Casey, because <laughs> there might have been something wrong with you. Yes, that's true. I mean, it really is just a remarkable season. Let's take a look at this game a little bit. 68-48 to 48 win over Commerce. Coach, this is a Commerce team that averages 81 points per game. You hold them to 48 points. Talk about the defense tonight. Well, you know, again, Casey, I go back to our staff again. I mean, again, let's put – first of all, our players are doing a great job. But I got to go back to the staff, Marlon Cloudy and Coach Chris. And you, they work out here in a, such great chemistry together. And uh, we've even stepped Marlon up some this year on some things. And, and uh, you know, like I've always told you, Coach Chris is like a surgeon out there when he's, when he's tearing down a defense and – in, or an offense and how we're going to play defensively. And Marlon's done a great job in, in really learning how, you know, he played for me, he's been here, and he's just doing a good job learning from Coach Chris right now on how to how to dissect things and, and putting in a lot of time. And, and then you're always supported by, you know, TD and Coleman, who's been with me and played for me for three and four years. And I just got a great staff of people, Casey, and that's what makes it so special because they understand what Tarleton basketball is all about. They understand the pride of the purple and white. They're they bled purple. They've been on this floor with their sweat and their tears. And, and uh, I just got a great staff, and I got to give them a lot of the credit, you know, Casey. They do a great job in, in uh, players and keeping them focused and the things that we have to do to win. Coach, a year ago on March 1st, 2014, you go to Commerce. You're the number two na team in the nation at the time, 24-2. and two. Commerce is 17-8. and eight. Carnegie gets 34 points. You're upset. Coach Chris tells me that probably cost you a chance to host the regional tournament. Was that a little bit of motivating factor tonight? Well, you know. <coughs> no, you don't like to use. Yeah, I, like I don't that. know if that was a motivating factor tonight. I, you know, I've, I, you know, I didn't think about it much, Casey. I just so focused on this sure. game. Of course, we know we lost there last year, but sure. more focused on this game tonight and the, and, the, and the game plan and what we had to do. And it's senior night, and that takes a little bit of. Yep. You know, <coughs> excuse me, you have to get yourself re-psyched up when you're so psyched up because you're saying goodbye. And it's a tough night on senior night. And I'll tell you, I was proud of the kids, the way they, you know, they, they finally settled into the game after the first five minutes. Okay, maybe a better question from that game. Carnegie had 34 yeah. points. Coach, tonight he fouled out with about 10 minutes left in the game. And LaDon Carnegie didn't score a point, the fourth leading scorer in the conference. Yeah. Talk about the uh, effort on him. Well, I thought everybody, that you know, I think Nosa did a tremendous job on him tonight. I think when Malcolm was in the game, he did a tremendous job on him tonight. And, you know, we just had players that were really focused on certain individuals and how we played their big people tonight. And I thought the game plan put together was, was uh, exactly what we had to do, and I thought we carried it out. Talking with head coach Lon Reisman, the Tarleton Texans win the Lone Star Conference championship. This is an extended version of the Dr. Robert Barbary postgame show. Tarleton wins this one by 20. Just a quick note, uh, talked with Mo a little bit about this, and this is the last time I'll ask you a question about this, but you lose your number two leading scorer about six days ago. There's not a lot of programs that could overcome that kind of adversity this week and win a game like this by 20. What does that say about the character of your young men? Well, <coughs> Casey, I, you know, the thing it is is that people would understand it's our system. It's yep. the system that we in, that we uh, that we work with here. It's it's everybody has to step up. They know the system. They know it's expected. We don't rely on one person. We don't rely on two people. The system survives, and it has for the 28 years that I've been here, Casey. I'm going on 28. It's 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 about the system, and, and and it's about the team, and it's about the program. It's not about the individual. All right, I'll try to lure you into a question here. You probably won't answer. Metro State wins two this weekend. They're 23 and four Division two record. You're 22 and two. Do you think that uh, maybe at this point you've done enough to host that regional tournament here? Well, I, I don't know, Casey. You know, they, again, you get back to those formulas again, and I'm not sure. a part of that committee anymore. I was a part of that committee for four years, and they have difficult decisions to make. But you know, you start thinking about that formula, and, and uh, I don't see the, I don't see it any, any longer because I'm not on that committee, and so. You know, I think that are we worthy to hold it? Why host it? Why sure we are. I mean, yep. we're worthy to do it. But you and I both know we got to win some more games to do it. And you're going to play Eastern New Mexico. Last question, Wednesday night at 8:30. And a lot of people need to understand this about Eastern New Mexico. They're 0 and 4, 0 and 14 in the conference, but they only lost by 10 to West Texas A&M. Actually. <coughs> Take a look at this. I'm losing my brain here. Yeah, they lost 96 to 86 to West Texas and They scored 86 against West Texas. You only beat them by 10. They're playing much better right now. They're playing much better, and we have a lot of respect for them. And, you know, what I've always told you is you get in tournament play, 
you got to get because it's, it's either win or you go home. And I think that our players understand that. And I, I, I really feel like they're going to take them serious because how good they you play. You're home for game. NPR News. Coach, congratulations. Uh, your 450th win as a member of the NCAA, your second outright Lone Star Conference championship, and you win a school record 26 regular season games. A lot to think about after this one. Congratulations. Thank you, Casey. I'd like to give God all the glory for the victory, Casey. We've got a lot of good Christian men on this team, and I just thank him for the people that he's given me, but give God all the glory for the victory tonight. Thank you.